Hi there, my name is Joe Crawford, chatbot copywriter and dialogue designer. Today, I'm going to be taking you through how to build your first chatbot in Snatchbot for free without coding. Now, this is a video I did two years ago. However, since then, Snatchbot has highly upgraded this platform and introduced a lot of new things. So it's useful to make sure that this video is also updated to reflect those changes. I use Snatchbot because it's highly intuitive, yet extremely powerful. Whether you're just getting started or building something highly complex for a large organization, it's fairly easy to do it with, to both create it and to launch it with Snatchbot. So with that, let's get right into it. Starting on my screen, you'll see that we're at the dashboard. To create, first we're going to go to My Bots. we will see a selection of other bots that I've already created. Seeing as we're creating a new bot, we're going to select from the top right, create bot. Now this brings up a couple fields for us to full, fill in. I'm going to be naming this Joe Bot 2.0, giving it a description, test chatbot. Language, that's good. As you can tell, we're speaking English. I'm going to give it a quick photo. And like that, we're ready to go. So once I click create, I'll be brought to where we actually build our chatbot. And the very first thing that we're going to want to do is select add new interaction and plug in. By doing that, this opens up a number of different interactions and plugins that you can use to insert into your chatbot. They have various different functions, but the one we're going to focus on today is the bot statement. Now, this is perfect for something like text, which is what we're going to be getting into today. So I'll select that and I'm going to name it. It's important to name each statement with something that's easily recognizable because when you end up with a lot of different statements and individual pieces of text, the more descriptive the name it is, the easier it is for you to jump back to it. So in this case, since it's our first interaction, I'll name it hello. Next, we select add. And that brings up something of a new screen. You'll see we still have the interaction list column, but now we have essentially our editing box along the right-hand side that has all sorts of functions, many of which are explained in my other videos. What we want first is to create a greeting message. So we'll simply click on bot message and type in what we want to say. Hi. Would you like to chat? And simply by clicking off of that, Snatchbot automatically creates and saves this interaction. Next, we're going to create the bookend to this, which would be goodbye. Once again, we'll select bot statement and name this goodbye. And select add. And once again, we'll select bot message and enter the message. So, with that done, we have two unique pieces of text that serve as your introduction and your goodbye. However, what we need to do is actually link them together because that's really what we're looking for in a chatbot is to have one piece of text or media or function be triggered by the input of how someone responded to a previous one. So to do that, we're going to first go back and start with the statement that you want to trigger the next statement. And from there, you're going to select the connection button, which as you can see now, hello currently has no connections. So we'll click that. And there are a few different ways that you can add the dialogue inputs. And in this case, I want to use a quick reply, which is a message that shows below the message that your users can simply cl click. It's very easy and it's intuitive and it helps people get through your chat bot faster and more efficiently. So we're going to do one simply to the word no. We'll select enter, and we would say, yes, we do want to add a connection. Now connections in Snatchbot work on an if-then basis. For example, we'll select if item, the response to this interaction, in this case, hello, contains the whole word of no, then it's going to take us to goodbye. Now from there, we're not going to worry about synonyms right now. Now we actually have a link, two link statements. 
Now let's take a look and let's test it. It's very handy with Snatchbot. They put the testing right in the bottom right so you can quickly be jumping back and forth between your editing and your testing. Now I always recommend testing each interaction as you go along. Otherwise you can run into problems when you're about to launch and that creates a lot more problems on itself. So let's pull it up and there we are. And I'm going to type in no. And with that, that pulls up my message and my response. So thank you very much for watching and look forward to hearing from you again next time.